What's up guys, Coach Chris with Silverback Performance. Today we're gonna be going over how, um, we're gonna go over our sprint mechanics, all right? So we're gonna go over something very basic um, and simple, but also very difficult at the same time. So for this week, my kids are gonna be working on their sprint mechanics, and um, this is what I want them to focus on and refer to when they get home. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna work on our posture. Like everything, it's important that we have good posture while we're doing things. So what I like to do is I like to use a wall, and I like to ask the kids uh, just to play around with them. Who's gonna win if you were to fight with the wall? The wall, me. And usually they, some of them that are confident will say, well, I'm gonna win. But the ones that are not usually say, the wall's gonna win. So what you're gonna do first is you're just gonna go ahead and put your hands on the wall. And you're gonna go ahead and put your hands basically at eye level. The reason we wanna do that is we're gonna step back. Now, when we step back, we don't want our heels to necessarily be on the ground. So I don't wanna be completely flat. If you have tight ankles, it's gonna be really difficult to make this angle right here. So, I would assess that first, and I made a, a mobility video on that you guys can check out. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be on the balls of the feet. It's very important that when we're in this position that we're not sagging in the middle, and we're not arching our back. A lot of the kids will do that. So the first thing I just have them do is I just have them get straight here, and what I like to tell them as a cue is you're gonna go ahead and squeeze your glutes. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and squeeze right here. And you'll see that when I do that, I kind of straighten up. And when I'm doing this, I like to tell them also to put their eyes forward. And think about if you were to push this wall. So if I'm pushing against this wall and I wanna get the building away from me, I wanna be in a straight line. I don't wanna be here sag. I don't wanna be arched. You can see I'm not very powerful like this. So I wanna be straight line. And I'm pushing all the way through my, the ball of my feet, all the way through the palms of my hand. That's gonna be the first step. You can have them hold that for about 10 seconds or so, 15, 20. You can even make it a game. Who can hold the wall a little longer or not? After we do that and we get uh, the athletes to understand that position, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have them just pick a leg up. So, what I want you to think is, um, when we're running, a lot of times you're gonna see kids, they're gonna kinda kick their butt and their knees don't really come up. What we wanna do is we wanna teach them to bring the knee up. We don't want to kick our butt as we're running. You see somebody kicking their butt, it's not very powerful. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna put the leg straight, same way in our starting position, and all I'm gonna show the athlete to do is bring that knee up. When I bring that knee up, I'm gonna think about either, some people like to say flex the toe, some people say push it down. I like to tell them to flex it, because when you come down, then you can fall and hit the ground with that heel. I mean with the ball of the foot. If you come up and you go toes down, what usually happens is the toes hit it, and then the heel hit it, and that takes a little longer. So, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna have them come up, and what you do is you have them go slowly. You just tell them up, and you're gonna come slowly here. Then they're gonna go down, then you're gonna have them switch. Okay, then we're gonna go down, we're gonna have them switch. Now, some kids will curl up when they get here. We don't want them to do that, we want them to think about Big chest, stay tall, straight line with the back. You're gonna go down, straight line. And when you're doing this, you're gonna squeeze that leg that's on the ground. You're gonna squeeze that glute. Then we're gonna switch. You're gonna squeeze that glute. You can have them do this about 10 times each leg. You're just gonna switch, switch, switch. Okay? Now, it looks easy. I'm telling you right now. Don't get frustrated with them. It's difficult. It's really hard for you to squeeze, stay straight, and keep that leg up. So, excuse me. What you wanna do is just be patient with them. Have them try it 10, 15 times per leg. Take your time and then we'll go from there. Once they can establish that and they can come up slowly, the easiest way to progress would be having them come up fast. You tell them switch. They can go down, have them come up fast. Tell them switch. Once they get that, you can have them come up and down fast. So they'll come up. You gotta come down fast. Come up, down fast. Okay? If they get that one and you wanna keep on going ahead, what you'll do is you go up, and then you have them switch leg as fast as you can. Until you can have them go two times, three times, four times. So two times will be, three times will be, and then so on and so on. So I hope you guys like that video. I hope it helps. This week we'll focus on that with my kids. Go ahead, you can do this with your athletes. It doesn't matter where they are, they don't have to be baseball players to do this. It's just help them with their overall sprinting and running mechanics. So, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. 
if you like uh, the videos that I do put out, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll put a link to this shirt if you like it too. So thank you. See you guys later.